sometimes, y'all, when we're researching, we find out things that we think we knew already might not be exactly true. Is that okay? Yeah. The teaching team at Forest Lake is a tight-knit group. Many of them have worked together for several years, collaborating to improve their teaching skills and supporting each other as they embrace rapidly evolving technology. All right, we need to look at home life. How they travel in transportation. Just transportation. Yeah. yeah. Every other week, grade level teams meet in what they call collaborative corner to discuss challenges and plan interdisciplinary lessons together. With the support of instructional technology specialist Paulette Williams. Because we have plenty of resources on everything. Media specialist Lizzie Paget. Do you like having the taste of the countries with everybody in a different yeah. room? Mm -hmm. And curriculum coordinator Marion Scullion. The student will demonstrate an understanding of other settings across the world. So as we we've used a, a number of different models over the years for staff development and training. At this point in our process, we use a collaborative uh, meeting every other week. And that is a, a very honored treasure time. You, you don't miss your collaborative. Professionally speaking, everyone expects you to be there. And it's a meeting that you don't want to miss because it's a meeting where you kind of massage your unit plan to be uh, better and better we can take an inventory of things that they want to specifically learn about mm -hmm. that country right. well, we're, and not necessarily we're doing graphing it. and math yeah. so that'll be a yeah. great way to tie in the collaborative process allows us to spread the wealth and team teach teachers come down to collaborative corner we feed them you know that's a very important part of it we get we soften them up a little bit with some chocolate and but we just give them a time to talk first and then we take the standards that they're teaching and we put together what kind of project is going to be a part of that. What's going to be your pre-assessment piece? What strategies are you using to get the objectives across? The first web quest that I liked was this experiencing a day in the life of. We're not asking them to do all this by themselves. We're saying, what, what part can I play? What can I do? to make this work smoothly for you. Principal Cappy Cannon drops in on classes frequently to make observations she later shares with the teachers. We have created our own walkthrough form, which is an observation, it's not an evaluation, and we call that our failure is not an option form. And what we did was we tried to think of all the things that we have worked on in the past few years. Maybe we've gone to a workshop, it might be professional reading that we have done, conversation, staff development, collectively put it all together um, to make sure that bottom line that we're doing what we say that we're doing and to stay focused and to stay on track. And you like spending that time with him? Tyler? We also have like? times during the year where all of the teachers will go in each other's classroom. And again, it's a non-threatening type of process and you can get just that one snapshot of going in someone else's room and seeing how they have taken some of the same information that you have been given and they're using it in a different way. A round of applause. Well, we I started giving a lot of online and computerized testing and I wanted to know how would I show those grades. Like, if Teachers who are new to the profession or the school are well supported. Once a month they gather in the media center with teacher leaders to discuss their successes and their concerns. Coke and Conversation gives us a springboard for discussion about maybe things related to reading, things related to technology, things related to behavior management. Maybe so we want to discuss some tips for how to motivate those children that are not quite where they, we'd like them to be for that. So. And it's not a scary time for them because all these other people are new as well. So it's just a safe haven for new people, newbies to have this time to brainstorm together. <laughs> um, Katie and I were looking at Google Lit Trips, and it's a really neat tool for you to pick a book. At a monthly staff meeting, teachers share their latest tech discoveries with their colleagues. And each one is really convenient because it gives you an overview of the book itself right here. I think that's one so thing that makes this school special, is the collaborative spirit. It's a part of everything that we do. And we like each other. You know? <laughs> Have a great afternoon. Thank you.